I'm John Rohde with The Oklahoman. Last week came word they hoped to open a Johnny Bench Museum in Binger, the town where he was raised. That same day, I happened to see a replay of Game 1 of the 1970 World Series on ESPN Classics. I mention this not because my Orioles beat the Reds 4-3 that day in Riverfront. I mention this because Bench was catching for Cincinnati. And when his season stats flashed on the screen, you quickly remembered why Bench is still considered the greatest catcher of all time. Bench led the majors with 45 home runs and 148 RBIs that year. He also led the majors in extra base hits and sacrifice flies. Not surprisingly, he was named MVP. Bench did this all natural. No, he wasn't naked. He did it drug free, and he did it at age 22. Two years later, he was named MVP for the National League. The 1970 season already was Bench's fourth in the major leagues. He played catcher in 139 games that year. He also made 15 appearances in left field, 12 at first base, seven in right field, two in center field, and one in third base. That's 176 appearances in a 162 game season. They don't make him like that anymore. My ever-growing disinterest in present day baseball continues to be enhanced by my appreciation for the past. When players jogged onto the field that day in 1970, you knew the starting lineups for both teams, even though it was 38 years ago. Now, more than ever, you appreciate baseballs and baseball players that aren't juiced. You notice there was no posing after hitting a home run. There were simple handshakes, sometimes with both hands, when offering congratulations. Players were smiling, not frowning. No one swung a bat in anger inside the dugout. Managers made one or two pitching moves, not three, four, or five. That 1970 World Series was a genuine article. Nowadays, there's no telling what's genuine. Johnny Bench was the real deal. And back then, so was baseball.